Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to restore the automatic updates feature in Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs. Before we start the tutorial, I want to mention that I'm not responsible for anything that goes wrong to your system, and please proceed at your own risk. Damages to your system are possible, so I'd recommend trying this on a virtual machine or on an older PC that you aren't using. Now before we begin, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as it helps out the channel a ton. Now let's begin. So the first thing we need to do is we need to view what service pack we have installed on our system, and we can view so by pressing the Windows key on our keyboard and the letter R, and typing Winver in the Run dialog. And then you can hit either Enter on your keyboard or click OK. And beside the version string, if it says service pack 2 or below, so if it says service pack 1 or it doesn't even say service pack, then we'll need to upgrade to service pack 3. If yours says service pack 3, then you can skip this step. So we can close out of this window, and we'll start the installer for service pack 3. On the installation wizard, click Next. Click I agree, then click next, click next again, and then it will start installing service pack 3. Once it finishes installing, we can click finish, and then our system will restart. After you restart your system, you may get a screen that looks like this. If you do, just click not right now, and then click next. Once we've installed service pack 3, we can install the Visual C++ 2012 redistributable. Click I agree to license terms and conditions, then click install. Once it finishes installing, we can click close. Next, we need to install the Windows Update Agent. On the installer, click Next, click I agree, then click Next, and then it'll start installing Windows Update Agent. Once it finishes installing, we can click Finish, and then we need to install an update for the mitigation APIs. On the setup, click Next, then click I agree, then click Next, and then once it finishes installing, we can click Finish. So the next thing we need to do is we need to change a setting in Automatic Updates. So we can head over to the Start button, we can click Control Panel, we can click Security Center, we can scroll down to the bottom, and then we can click Automatic Updates. Then we can click Notify Me but don't automatically download or install them. So what this does is it notifies us that updates are available, but it won't automatically download or install them. So once we've checked it, click Apply, then click OK, and then we can close out of the Security Center, and we can close out of the Control Panel. And now we need to set up the WSUS proxy. Click Add underscore WSUS. The window will pop up briefly, and once it closes, we can run the Run underscore WSUS batch file. If you get this prompt, click on Block. So before we go to the next step, I want to quickly mention what this proxy does. So what this proxy does is it bypasses the SHA2 code signing support check that the Windows Update servers require. So originally, the Windows Update servers would use the SHA1 code signing support checks, which a bunch of older operating systems such as Windows XP and Windows 2000 supported. But then Microsoft required the Windows Update servers to use the SHA2 code signing support check, which, again, Windows XP and Windows 2000 don't support. So by using this proxy, it bypasses that check so we can communicate with the Windows Update servers, so we can check for updates, download updates, and install updates. So now with that out of the way, we can go to the next step. So for the next step, we need to press the Windows key on our keyboard and letter R to open the Run dialog, and we need to type the following command, W-U-A-U-C-L-T space forward slash detect now. And then you can hit either enter on your keyboard or click OK. If it works, you should see some stuff happening in the command prompt window. If the checking for updates process takes a very long time, we can install an update to fix that. We can install the KB898461 update. In the installation wizard, we can click Next, click I agree, and then click Next. And then once it finishes installing the update, we can click Finish, and we can go check for updates. So the next thing we need to do is we need to run the WSUS proxy. So we can do so by double clicking on the run underscore WSUS batch file. Once we've opened the batch file, we can press the Windows key on our keyboard and the letter R to open the run dialog, and then type the following command, WUAUCLT space forward slash detect now. It should be auto-filled in because that was the last command we used, but if it's not, then you need to type that again, and then you can hit either enter on your keyboard, or you can click OK. You'll know if it worked if you see all this stuff happening inside the command prompt window. And there we go, we now have the notification that updates are available. So to download updates, we can click the yellow shield icon in the system tray, and then it'll bring up the screen. We can scroll down from top to bottom, make sure all the updates are checked, and then we can click download. The screen will minimize, but we can view the download progress by hovering our mouse on top of the yellow shield icon. Once all the updates have been downloaded, we can click the yellow shield icon in the system tray, and then this window will pop up. We can click custom install, then click next, and scroll down and make sure that all the updates are selected, and once we're satisfied, we can click install. And we can click the yellow shield icon and view the progress of the updates being installed. So that's about it. That's how to restore the automatic updates feature in Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like my videos, share them with your friends, and let me know in the comment section down below if this worked for you. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.